all right today I'm going to show you the outside of my car and kind of walk you around and kind of show you some of the things we decided to do and not do on it so let's go this is my 1971 super beetle convertible um, and the first thing you're going to notice is there is some body damage <clears throat> and there's not a new paint job. But we did that on purpose. When we got the car, it had the original paint job on it. And even though it was dirty, we could tell right off that it was in really great shape uh, for the age of the car. And so we just kind of fell in love with all the patina that's all around the car. We love that it had the original paint job, but that it had some character to it. Um, so we decided to keep it and uh, my dad cleaned it up and buffed it. It's got a nice shine to it. It's still a really pretty yellow. And so we may decide one day to paint it, but for now, um, we just, I don't know, we liked it. Um, we had someone who um, owns a garage that all he does is work on Volkswagens and he restores old Volkswagens tell us that we should keep it that it was priceless to have it in this condition and then we have another guy who specializes in painting cars um, and he came by the shop one day and just said you've got to keep the original paint job um, so that's what we decided to do so you'll see like it's got little things like here the gasoline that dripped and it wasn't wiped off left um, a bit of rust there but um, there's no rust that's really of any damage to the car at this point we have treated that so we just left it in its current state it gives it more character all right so let's walk around the car and I'll show you some of the features we'll start inside for me to show you how we open the front storage compartment so we open the glove box and this lever goes all the way down and that's how the storage compartment in the front will open the trunk. So I lift here and what we did in here is it's carpeted and it just made it look so much better. We had the original cardboard which was falling apart. We tried cleaning it and it really was just beyond repair. So we put carpet on top of the original cardboard pieces um, and it just looks so good. Um, I'll try to find some pictures beforehand to put on the blog for you to see the difference. One way that you can know that this is a Super Beetle is the spare tire is under here when you lift it up. Um, I think the regular Beetles, you can see the spare tire when you open up this compartment, but ours lays, fat, uh, ours lays flat because it has a bigger nose on it. So even though this doesn't have a lock on it, the glove compartment inside the car does. And so that's why you have to access opening this from the inside. That way you can lock your glove box. That way you can lock your glove box um, and no one can get in from outside your car. Pretty nifty. And that's a lot of room in there too. Here on the passenger side, you're gonna see these two holes. And this is for a decal and I'll um, have the decal up on the blog too. We have it, we just don't have it on here yet. Um, we don't have the original one. I ordered um, one on eBay that was original to another car and it's not a reproduction. And I'll talk about that on the blog. Um, but that is where the Carmen emblem goes. And Carmen is actually the one that made the convertibles for Volkswagen. So that indicates um, that it's a convertible if you can't tell <laughs> from the top um, but it's also really neat and it's only on the passenger side so of course it's a convertible and there's a post that I talk about all about us putting a new convertible top on and I'll link that down below in the description box um, and it's from beginning to end of us installing this new top one thing you'll be able to see from the back window is the storage compartment behind the back seat um, and you can't see it hello, real well in the camera, but there's a big storage compartment that I'll show you when I show you the inside of the car. Um, but you can see there I've got a sun visor that goes in my front window, um, and it's pretty roomy back there. And this is glass. A lot of convertibles are going to have plastic as their back window, but this is glass, and this is original to the car. We got to use the original one, which was pretty neat. 
this Volkswagen is air cooled um, and that's one reason for all the vents um, and I love the little Volkswagen emblem so here is the engine compartment it does not lock I think you can buy locks for them but that's the engine um, this is not the one original to the car we do have it but this is one that the person we bought it from bought an engine um, and had it rebuilt um, it was a much newer engine and so when we got it it was not in working order it was actually outside of the car so my dad cleaned it up got it working and he and my brother basically made it look like what you see here um, it's really pretty and shiny and even though that sounds like okay big deal um, you know just as long as the car runs but a lot of Volkswagens I've looked at online their engine compartment does not look their engine compartment does not look quite this pretty so I think that's a testament to how much work that my dad and my brother put into that it is a four speed um, and I'll show you that when we do the interior tour of the car but yeah there's the engine compartment have a little passenger my daughter put a lamb chop here so that she could look out the window too <laughs> 